Hey everyone, welcome back to CyberSK TV. So last week we figured out how to flash uh, Tails OS on the USB stick. Uh, this week in this episode I'm gonna teach you how to boot uh, the Tails from the USB stick. Of course I could not capture the videos uh, actually like you know while, while booting up uh, and actually it was taking a lot of time. I couldn't get the audio and everything right so I put the screenshots here but uh, probably the, the steps you'll follow is exactly same which I'm going to show you. Uh, so first of all, uh, depending on your uh, laptop, you want to figure out what's the key that you want, uh, like you know, your system is using for booting. So it depends on like which uh, uh, which brand of laptop you're using. Maybe it's Dell, Asus, uh, HP, Lenovo. Uh, everyone has a different key. Uh, for your reference and usability, I have put like you know some well-known brands and and their boot key uh, down in the section below. So try those out. Uh, hopefully it should work if it does not then then probably just look it up on your support or uh, Lenovo or HP support whatever that is and then also maybe just try to search on the Google as well but 99% of the cases one of those uh, key that I mentioned below should work uh, so once you have the USB stick attached with your system uh, you will go into the boot menu uh, for example I I'm using the Dell so I'll be using the F11 uh, or F12 and once I do that, it will take me to the boot menu. Just in case, if your system do not go to the boot menu and, and it shows up like you know the regular login screen of maybe Linux, OS X, or all the Windows, then probably you need to restart and, and try with another key. Uh, repeat this until you get to the boot menu. I remember in my early days, like when I used to when I used to install like Windows XP in 2003, that is where from the DVD I used to do that uh, using the boot menu. So this will be a similar experience as well. Uh, once you go past that stage, uh, you will be able to see like a boot manager. Uh, it will show up all the options that you have. Uh, if your uh, USB stick at is attached, probably it will also show that option here. And you will uh, use like, you know, uh, all the instructions on how to select uh, which uh, particular boot option you want to select is, is will be shown on the screen. So you can go up and down using that arrow key and then you can hit the enter. Uh, just so everyone know, like if anyone has not used the boot manager before, your mouse will not work. So probably you'll have to stick with the keyboard to select the boot option. Uh, once you select the boot option, uh, you will get this screen where you select, you'll have two options. The first one is Tails, which is the regular operating system which you can uh, boot from. The second one is troubleshooting mode. So in case your Tails is corrupted or maybe it's not uh, functioning as you had expected, so then maybe you can uh, open in the troubleshooting mode and then the Tails will try to fix the issue that's encountering. Uh, once you go past to that page, uh, it will show up this screen and here you'll be able to see like, you know, two options. One is shut down and one is start trails. Uh, if you do not want to mess around and, and like, you know, uh, change any of the existing settings or the default settings, as we have seen in the previous video, as I said, like tails always have the secure option by default. So most likely you will not have to have changed anything. However, I'll still talk, uh, like, you know, explain you all the features and all the options. So just in case if you have to, uh, you can play around. Uh, so the first option is like, you know, language, which is by default set to English United States. So uh, I don't think so I'm going to change it or, or anyone needs to change it unless you want to change that. Uh, keyboard layout as well. Uh, it's English US. Uh, so it's, it's better to have this uh, as by default unless you suspect there is a key logger or something installed on your system and you want to change the keyboard layout and that's the format is also your understood. So these are all like you know very very generic feature however the main critical features you want to maybe play around with is the additional settings. So the default settings are safe in most situation to add a custom setting press plus button below right. So when you do that you will you will get like three options in the additional settings. Uh, the first one is administrator password, second one is MAC address spoofing and then the network connection. Now as you can see admin password is turned off by default and the reason being that is suppose uh, for some reason someone got access to your tails uh, like the, the uh, like you know your system 
and then uh, they got the they will not get the admin access so usually in security we always follow uh, like you know least privilege principle so they are following the same thing here just in case your system is compromised one will not be able to get to the admin action admin settings and will not be able to do some uh, unauthorized action so that's why usually admin password is always turned off uh, just in case you want to uh, set it up you can however I would highly recommend not to do it uh, probably the only scenario you would need the admin password uh, in case you have to install something install some software or something so probably that's where you will need it uh, but most likely I wouldn't recommend to set this up as well uh, another uh, important thing you want to note is the admin password if you set during your uh, boot then it will only stay stay there until the stale system is up because this is a live system and uh, it does not uh, store or persist anything it's a non persistent system so whenever you restart or reboot the system the admin password that you have set will disappear so next time when you come back you will have to change the settings or you will have to add your admin password again uh, so do not assume that your password you had set previously will work uh, next option we have is the MAC address spoofing so here you can see it's turned on by default uh, so MAC address is physical and unique like you know address which is given by manufacturer to all the devices uh, so suppose you have like you know any any Wi-Fi uh, driver or a video card or whatever you you have some MAC address and then MAC address is unique uh, now usually uh, this MAC address do not uh, transmit over the internet so when you are accessing the internet only your IP address uh, will be going not your MAC address MAC address are only known like you know only probably are transferred during uh, within the network uh, we have seen some vulnerabilities like ARP spoofing and, and stuff like that that is where the MAC address are really being used so the reason here uh, the MAC address is turned off uh, because uh, turned on sorry I meant uh, is because when let's say someone is on your network is trying to uh, figure out like you know what is the MAC address from where the traffic is coming on that's within your network then they will not be able to figure out because every time you turn on the tails uh, it will use a different MAC address so it will make very difficult for anyone to to, re uh, to rectify or to uh, find out who is the actual person uh, or system which is being used uh, by this MAC address now the only I, I, I again would not recommend to turn this off but the only uh, way or reason you might want to turn this off because let's say someone is uh, like you know in some network only certain MAC address are, are permitted so in that case if your MAC address does not match up probably you will not be able to access the network or maybe the internet so that's the reason uh, that's when you will want to turn it off however I, I, I would hardly believe that that would ever be the case in the in the like you know uh, in the modern world uh, the last options we have is the network connection so network connection is direct by default and, and when you click on it you will see three options one is directly by the Tor network so all the traffic including all the programs which are installed on this OS will go through the Tor network uh, the second option is using the Tor bridges or a proxy now we have already talked about the bridges and pluggable transport and how to install it how to use it etc so I'm not gonna repeat that uh, but if you haven't uh, seen that video uh, please go back and check it out in this playlist and third is disable all the network connection which is obviously not recommended so we can keep it everything as is and then once you are ready maybe what you can do is you can click on this start trail uh, blue button on the top and once you do that uh, you will be able to see a screen like this uh, where you will have like you know some default programs and about trails and uh, one thing you might also want to do is uh, to connect to the internet uh, you will have to connect to the Wi-Fi uh, so Wi-Fi will work as if like you're working on your Windows or OS X so once you connect to the Wi-Fi you will also be traversed the tails uh, to our network all the default program and systems are loaded by default so you wouldn't have to do much things uh, but yeah this is sort of like a how, how do you boot from the tails 
and uh, if you if you yeah if you get in stuck anywhere uh, let me know in the comment section hopefully our community will be like you know uh, help you out um, and also try try searching on the Google for basic troubleshooting but it should be very straightforward I don't anticipate any any problems thumbs up on this video if you like this subscribe to my channel and I'll, I'll see you on next Monday bye